Well, most of the time, if I get a call for a house wash, um, I usually let the customer know that we'll remove any organic matter. But then I also tell them sometimes that you have stains on your house that are that come from iron or your sprinkler system. So I tell them that rust removal is a different process. And depending on whether you have it or not, it's a whole different process. It's a it's more of like a restoration. You're using uh, an acid base chemical. So I let them know ahead of time that way if they want to get it done great but also if they know that hey why is this stain still there and they know that that's going to be a separate charge so it's important to educate them for sure definitely costly on our end you know the the chemicals are a little more money than the 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 sh you use for a normal house wash. But we're giving away a Ford Ranger next month to a premium or platinum subscriber of Quote IQ. So if you need help keeping track of customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, check out Quote IQ linked in the comment section and the description of this video. So whenever you talk to the customer, you pretty much do this with every customer. You just kind of let them know that you will, you know, be able to get rid of all the organic matter. However, there still might be stains that fall under that restoration category. Yes, exact, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Excellent. I love it. I love it, man. So if, you know, if you did notice the rust stain, you would then tell them, hey, you know, we could get this up for you if you're interested. Yeah. And I exactly. I let them know, hey, you know, depending on the size of it, usually most of the time it's uh, a little spot here and there. But then you have the ones that are like the entire wall. And that's when you're looking at, um, you know, a hundred to 200, even upwards of $500 just to do that uh, amount of work on a house. So you gotta be, you know, education is very important, but um, like I said, there is sometimes where it's just a small area and, you know, sometimes it could be as low as 50 bucks, I'll charge them. Or sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll try to get a Google review out of it and just take care of it for them. You know what I'm okay. saying? So it, it all depends on the size. Excellent. I love that. I love leveraging the uh, the removal of the stain for a Google review. That's perfect. Uh, yeah. Can you kind of walk us through some of the steps of removing rust? Like what we need to do, you know, one, two, three. So first things first, the, you'll want to wash the house as normal. You know, your normal SH mixture, your house wash, get all the organic matter off. And then that will expose what's left. And that's usually if there is iron stains, obviously they'll still be there. Then I'll go ahead and make sure... You don't want any SH on any of this uh, surface because you cannot mix rust removal products with SH. It's a huge no-no. It is extremely dangerous and you know not even just a little bit, it's extremely dangerous. So you don't want to mix those two chemicals. And then I go ahead and I make an acid mixture, usually using oxalic acid, which is like a powder. It's a raw powder and I buy that by the pound. I usually mix a pound per gallon of water and that usually takes care of it. I spray it on, let it do the work for sometimes a minute, sometimes 30 seconds, um, but you do not want to let it dry on these surface. So then after about a minute or so, I rinse it off and then I will repeat if needed. But most of the time it gets it right then and there. 